Welcome back to CAD Jungle. In today's quick exercise, we're going to be modeling this here. Let's hop right to it. Let's start out by creating a new component. We create new components to help us keep things organized. Make sure to type a set to standard and not sheet metal. Let's select the right view. Let's create a sketch on the visible plane. And let's start out by creating the profile. Now let's clean things up a bit. Let's add some dimensions and some constraints. I added a perpendicular constraint here to straighten this out. And as you can see now, the sketch is fully defined. For this line here, I'm going to turn this into a construction line because I'm going to use the mirror command and this is what I'm going to be using to mirror one side to the other. Now select the mirror command and let's select the profile. Select the mirror line it's going to be this construction line we just created. And as you can see, it creates a mirror on the opposite side. We can go ahead now and finish the sketch because we now have our profile. Next, let's go ahead and use the extrude command. I want to extrude this and make it 80 millimeters, but it's on one side. I want it to be symmetric on both sides from the center. So under the direction, I choose symmetric. It's 80 millimeters on both sides. I want it to be 80 millimeters between the sides. So I'm gonna select under measurement whole length. So now it's 80 millimeters across both sides. For the next phase, I wanna go ahead and create this shape here. And to do that, Let's once again select the right view. Let's create a sketch on the visible plane. Left click and hold until you see Y, Z. And that's the plane we're gonna be using. And let's create a circle, center diameter circle. We're gonna put it at the very top until you see a triangle in X. And we're going to make this 60 millimeters. And as you can see, it's fully defined because we have it dead center. Finish the sketch. And let's create our cutout. We're going to use the extrude command. Left click and hold. And we're going to choose profile. And that's what we want. We don't necessarily need to choose the top profile. And once again, let's go ahead and choose symmetric for direction. Distance, we want to be all. And operation is going to be set to cut. As you can see, the red shaded area means it's going to be cutting into the actual geometry. Next phase of the operation, we're going to be creating this shape here. And to do that, we're going to be using the rib command. Select the right view. Create a sketch. Left click and hold. I'm going to select Y and Z. 
Now you could have done this all in one sketch. For the sake of training, I'm gonna go ahead and just break it up. And let's create a line. I'm gonna start at this point down here at the bottom. And we're gonna drag it up. Let's go ahead and give it a dimension of 50 degrees, but don't hit enter. We're just gonna make sure we drag it over until it touches this line and left click. Now let's go ahead and choose the rib command, select the profile we just created, and we want the thickness to be 70 millimeters. For thickness direction, we want it to be symmetric. If you run into a situation like this, flip direction, so it'll be correct. Let's use the mirror command. We want to mirror the same shape on the opposite side. The type should be set to features. Select the previous rib. We just created it. Mirror plane. I'm going to turn around just a bit and we can see this plane right here we want to mirror and it's going to be the X-ray Zulu plane or X and Z plane. And it's going to be on the opposite side. Compute option can be set to adjust and you're done. Now what we want to do at this point is create this shape here. And to do that, let's select the top view. We want to create a sketch on the visible plane. And let's create a circle. And we want the circle to touch this line and be dead center. But before we touch anything, let's make the circle 40 millimeters. We want this circle to be tangent to this line here. We want this circle center point to be constrained to this center point here. And that portion of the sketch is fully defined. And last but not least, we're going to create some vertical lines that are going to be tangent to the sides as well. Create a line here. And we'll create a line here. Make sure that this line is tangent to the circle. And now they're both tangent. As you can see the icons, the tangent icon. Now we're going to go ahead and give it a vertical constraint for both sides. And now the sketch is fully defined. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. And what we want to do now is use the extrude command and select the profile we just created. We can rotate it and make it a lot easier for us. And we don't have to choose the bottom here. We just want this top portion here. We can extrude it, we can drag it up, or we can select two object and touch this top. Or we could just simply just touch the top and it will grab the top. We don't want the operation to be set to cut, we want it to be joined. And we're done. We want to create this hole at the top as well. So let's use the hole command. Or just hit the H key for hole. Select the top. Let's rotate it on the top view. And let's drag this around until we can get to the, you'll see two dots here. And when it snaps into place in the center, you know you're done. The distance is going to be set to all because we want it to cut through the entire object. And the width or diameter is going to be 20 millimeters. 
Last but not least, let's go ahead and mirror what we just created to the opposite side. Let's choose the mirror command. And the features you want to choose are the last two we just created. The mirror plane is going to be this plane here, X and Z plane. Operation set to adjust. And there you have it. Last but not least, let's go ahead and give it a fillet overall. Make it 0.4 millimeters. And it's complete. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Stick around and I'll see you in the next video.